Hey everybody, this video is about making a bowl for our empty bowls project and uh, I did this after school one day. I uh, actually have a, the clay already centered in this video so I just want to throw a note in there about how uh, if you're having trouble centering you should check out the centering video um, on my YouTube channel or, uh, or look around other um, sites on YouTube to find some great centering videos. The main focus of this video is the bowl itself and just making a very simple bowl uh, with about a pound of clay that um, we can use for our empty bowls and uh, I'm going to let the, the audio kick in now um, on the actual video but if you have any questions just let me know. The way to move forward, oops, what you want to do is we're working with the spin of the wheel now. So we're now working on the other side of the clay. So now you want to have your right hand vertical against the side and you bring your left fingers over the top. And what I like to do is put my arms right on my legs and keep one hand against the side like that and overlap my hands for stability. Because all the time, if this gets off center, if the hole gets off center, then you're going to have trouble going forward. So I just kind of put my hands together like this and start putting pressure right in the middle to make a divot. If I'm only using one finger, I'm going to end up moving all over the place and that's going to cause a lot of troubles. If you're not stabilized, you can get into some trouble with that down the road. Then I'm going to just start putting the hole down. I want about a half of an inch to a quarter of an inch at the bottom. And uh, it's going to be very difficult for you to know exactly where that is the first time. So if you're ever worried or wondering, you can stop the wheel, take a needle tool that you should all have on your stations, stab it down into the middle, put your finger down at the bottom of the, the clay, and pull them both out at the same time. What you get is a distance between the fingertip and the, the tool, and right now I'm uh, about a half of an inch or so, uh, which is about as thick as you want to get, um, so I'm actually going to go a little lower. Now the next part is where things get a lot more interesting. Keeping my right hand flat against the side, I'm going to use my middle finger and ring finger on my left hand and start pinching the clay from the inside towards the outside. So my outside hand is steady, my inside hand is pushing the clay, pinching the clay between my, my hands. And what it ends up being is like fingertips for the inside fingers uh, towards the, the base of my pinky on the outside. And what I'm doing then is pinching the clay and letting the clay spin around in circles. It redistributes the clay a little bit. And then I pull both hands up nice and steady at the same time. Redistribute that clay vertically. Kind of show you what that looks like. Take my bucket away here. Keep, keep everything nice and wet. And we just pinch it open a little bit. It gets a little thinner at the bottom. And then in one smooth motion, nice and slow, both hands come straight up. What you're doing is you're distributing the thickness of that clay vertically. And you just kind of keep doing it. I'm going to do it one more time with a, with a flat outside hand. Now at, at this stage, it's gotten a little bit taller, so I'm going to use fingertips. I'm going to keep doing the same thing. I'm creating a pinch point between my fingertips keeping my thumbs overlapped to keep them nice and steady. I'm lifting both up and out at the same time. Now this is obviously looking a lot more like a cup than a bowl, but that's because the most important thing is getting everything distributed. And now what we can do is start forming that bowl shape by pushing the clay from the outside, or from the inside towards the outside to form whatever shape it is you're interested in making. Again, take it nice and slow, let the clay form, hand slowly off, and you basically just keep doing that. And you can use tools like the rubber kidney that's in your set to form a shape, and then you sort of push the bowl against that shape. When your clay is evenly distributed and you've got even wall thicknesses from top to bottom, 
That's when I'm. That's when I'm happy. Clean it all up with your sponge, and then uh, when we get there in a few minutes, I'll uh, I'll show you how to take it off of the wheel. But in the meantime, you've been working along kind of with me, so try to get your walls nice and even, distribute the clay vertically, and uh, we'll see where you're at. We'll go from there. And so we're gonna we're gonna remove these the, the sort of wet method because bowls can be very tricky um, sometimes. So I'm gonna put some water on the back behind the bowl. And I'm going to drag the wire tool through the water, make sure that the water goes underneath as I'm pulling through. And I'm going to do that again until it starts to, until the whole bowl starts to move. There it goes. So now I'm going to grab a wooden square from under the wedging table. And I want it to slide. So we got to get this a little wet. And then grip from behind and pull onto the board. 